What is up, kids? <clears throat> Today, I had uh, Peyton just come and help me kind of reorganize some stuff. We got, he's kind of moved around. Hey, check it out, right? And um, they're not in their permanent spots yet, but I needed to make some more room because we got to start working on our Bowling Brothers frame right here. Um, I've got some pieces laid out right there. Front axle right there. Oh, let me show you this. We're gonna be finding homes for all of this stuff on that frame. Pretty wicked. I got a stool donated to me too from a, from a hot rod guy here in town. This is Peyton, a teenager who is anything but ordinary. While most teenagers are glued to their mobile devices, Peyton is learning the arts of car restoration from her father, Chad, an army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. From an early age, Peyton's been getting schooled on the value of hard work, dedication, and the power of self-reliance, as well as why you shouldn't take life too seriously. You didn't see that. And the work, well, it speaks for itself. And there's only one philosophy in this beat shop. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are, anybody can pick up a wrench and turn dreams into reality. Welcome to Honest Peyton Speed Shop. So ultimately, we have to get started. Um, winter, it's coming, it's very soon. Uh, <laughs> I might have done a burnout today, Clyde. You know what? Look for it up in one of these. It's a good time. Anyway, um, winter's coming. So Bonnie's gonna get stored elsewhere this year for the first time. She's nervous. No, it should be completely safe. But anyway, hey, Bowling Brothers, look at that. Um, I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, we are not gonna rush anything. Um, I've gotta get the flash rust off of the frame and then I gotta get it primed and, uh, and I'm gonna get it painted, uh, hopefully too, but at least primer. Um, and uh, I'm using, actually I'm using tractor paint um, and primer because um, it's hard and it's set up for adverse conditions and it's gas and oil resistant and all that good stuff because this is gonna be, you know, right right uh you know where frames go so anyway stick around we're gonna get to work we're gonna get to work on some stuff i just went to check the mail <laughs> and i saw something on the road from my uh fun earlier so stick around a second oh if you can see these that might be a problem this is where kai laid it down right there and i ended up you know, up here. See that? Now, I'm gonna hope. Well, I don't know that I made it that far. But let's just hope that that's not Clyde. Because if it is, look at that. That's a problem. Could be Clyde, though. Hey, this is the one from earlier in the year, right here. Still sitting there. No, it's today. So, uh, I'm gonna get underneath the car. You guys wanna come? Cool. Here we go. All right, we're in the shop. Here's the mail. Let's hope it's not Clyde, huh? Because if it is, I don't know. All right, let's go out of the car. All right, we already knew that was leaking right there. We already know about the all these leaks. There's the rear end. No, not the rear end. Could it be not Clyde? <laughs> let's hope it's not, huh? Nothing really fresh under there. That shift linkage is a piece of rebar for crying out loud. You know that's leaking. I don't see anything new. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Well, let's just assume that it's not Clyde. And that it's something else. Someone else. Something. Someone. Somewhere. All right. You're wondering, I did not feel like getting on the floor today. But maybe it's not Clyde. I don't know. It's probably Clyde. Anyway. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. All right, kids, here's the deal. The decision has officially no more changes been made. Now, um, we can blame this on the foreman completely, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yep, anyway, so here's, here's the scoop. You can see Clyde's pretty low, right? I mean, right at my armpit right here. Now, if we put on the Bowling Brothers frame, it's gonna bring it down a couple of inches. So let's put it, let's say now the roof is here. And it's gonna bring the back down substantially, right? With the five inch kick. So let's say it brings it down a total of three at the, after the end of it, right? So <laughs> that puts us right about here for the top of the door, right? Or right the top of the roof, right here. I won't be able to get in the car. <laughs> Too tall for to get in the car, plus the arthritis in my back and my hip will make it impossible. So we have no other choice to leave Clyde alone. The only way it would work is if I got another frame that wasn't didn't have a kick up in the front of the back, it was just flat, like what's on Bonnie, or if I use another stock frame and I've got one. So um, maybe that's the route we'll go, or we'll go with like Speedway or um, something else down the line. Um, well, this is what the foreman, this is why the foreman is to blame. She said, you actually have two running and driving cars. I was like, well, can you count Clyde as a car that runs and drives? No. She's not wrong. So, Creepy will be the project uh, that we're gonna spend the next however long on, man. So, now that we've yapped enough and all that stuff, we better get to work on uh, on fitting up some of these parts and getting that flash rust off and getting this thing primed because cold weather is settling in. So um, stick around for that. Yeah. Ah! All right. Well, today's been a little bit of a weird day. <laughs> I came out here. Who would do that? And then I saw this. All right, so the labels, those look familiar, like they might've been you know, from my shop. And then when I see, you know, like, that's mine and that's mine. That's not, I, those, I found those are by those now, I know those that used to be mine and that was in my shop. So what else we got here? Oh, I know that. Those are hers. Yeah. Mm hmm Hey, BRG. Told you she'd steal it from me. Does it look familiar? No. Uh, yep. Those. That. <laughs> These are pathetic hammers. That's mine. Where'd my stuff go? I must have left the shop door unlocked. Well, looks organized at least. Here's what I found in there. Let's see what happened. Left the light on. 
that that used to be in the front garage that was my first toolbox okay let's see yeah well, Clyde's still here yay oh and there's this that's the thing she didn't even try to hide it You guys ever had that problem?